Hi there and welcome to this video for photoelectric effect where we're going to be using the FET simulation. So if you click onto the activity which you've got, um, if you click onto the link on the activity that you've got in front of you, you'll pull up this, um, this activity which is down here, which is our photoelectric effect um, simulation. Now literally all I'm going to do is to run through, just going to try and pull that apart if I can. It won't allow me. Okay, so basically what, what we're going to do is just run through the various parts of the simulation so that you know what's going on. Now the first thing that we need to notice is this is our evacuated tube. We've got a light here where we can control the intensity of the light and we can also control the wavelength of the light that's been generated. We're not going to deal anything with the um, battery down below, but it is important that you have a look at the current which is generated um, down here. Over here we've got um, an opportunity to look at a variety of different metals and an unknown metal. So we've got sodium, zinc, copper, platinum and calcium. And what it does is it changes this metal here. So if we put copper in here, just watch this grey area, it'll change into that orange to denote copper. So I'm going to go back to sodium here. Now basically what we can do is if I have... Um, a, a certain wavelength that's preset on this purple color here. If I increase the intensity here, you'll notice that we liberate electrons. And down here, we've generated a photo current. So I can control the intensity as to how um, the light, the, 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 how strong the light is. I can also, by moving this area here, control the type of light which is generated or the wavelength of the, the light that's generated. Now note that it's in nanometers which is times 10 to the negative 9 meters so I can move this down and you can see the light changes accordingly going all the way down through red into infrared you'll notice that there's no electrons which have been liberated here but as I then go back up there's going to be a point where electrons are going to start to be emitted you can see there and by playing with this you can actually work out exactly what's um, what wavelength generates um, electrons so let's just leave it on that purple area here. We've got um, a photo current which is generated. Um, you can place these, uh, click this button here, which allows you to work with the highest energy of electrons. We're not going to worry about those um, in this activity. But what we can do down here is we can get graphs which show us exactly what's going on. And you'll notice that um, when I'm dealing with uh, frequency, I can actually change the... Um, the intensity, uh, let's put it on 50, and as I move this up, you can see I get a nice graph um, which, which is generated. Now, this graph is actually quite useful because we can use it to determine our threshold frequency. And one of the things that I ask you to do in the activity is to use this camera icon here. When you click on that camera icon, you can then get all the parameters and the graph, and then by taking a um, just a square screenshot using um, any program, we can actually just take a screenshot of that and then submit that onto our activity. Um, what else can we do? We can obviously look at current and versus light intensity. It's not particularly great um, on here. I tend to use this one here for the, for the activity. Fundamentally, that's it. You will be asked to toggle between the different types of metals and fill in some data accordingly. But that's how the um, activity works, that's how the simulation works. Hope you find it useful and um, I look forward to you joining me again. So uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.